Respected President, the gradual deterioration of indigenous society in Tipura, Northeast India, after forcible annex with India on 15 October 1949. President, as a result of the forcible merger of the princely state into Indian Union, thousands of Tipuris become jobless. The administrative missionaries of independent Tipura was taken over by the imperialist India. On the other hand, the government of India encouraged the infiltration and settlement of illegal immigrants in Tipura. They were given employment opportunities, business facilities, including political power. In 1974, illegal immigrants led government de reserve all the cultivable, cultivable fertile land of Tipuris in favor of illegal immigrants, in spite of strong resistance by the indigenous people. The illegal settler in turn set blast all historical evidence, document, administrative record of Tipura Kingdom. Thereafter, they imposed elent culture, language, religion and political domination with the help of Indian Army. The illegal immigrant population rapidly grew in Tipura state and with the passage of time, the local Tipuris became minority in their own homeland. Historical document heritage has been destroyed by the immigrant and the aligned culture has been forcefully imposed to the indigenous people of Tipura. Illegal immigrant with the aid and advice of government officials to full advantage of the bias administration which was already under the control of illegal immigrant. Illegal immigrant got job, ration card, butter card, land registration very easily under the successive government. My organization requests this August Council to impress upon the government of India to give their economic social justice, including political power, to decide their own destiny under the Constitution of India, Article 2 and 3. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Respected President, Durban Declaration discourages all forms of intolerance, discrimination and xenophobia. My organization also believes in equal human rights for all and condemn all types of unequal treatment. Mr. President, this phenomena is more prominent in India, whereas the caste-based society is dominant. The northeast part of India, especially Tipura, is facing continuous discrimination. Tipura people felt that they are not Indian citizens because they are denied basic human rights and become frequent victims of xenophobia from all caste society. Tipura people are sick and tired of due to inequitable distribution of all resources and all form of discrimination. Now, Tipura people are peacefully demanding separate state based on scheduled area of Tipura <coughs> under Article 2 and 3 of Indian Constitution. That's because after merger with Indian Union, for the last 68 years, indigenous people were denied of political right in their native land. They are absent of government decision-making process. Mr. President, I appeal Human Rights Council to take the matter seriously from further intolerance and social discrimination by the government of India. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.